Um, I am popping on here because I was going to sit down and do a video um, tonight of this amazing Happy Mail box that I got from my crafty scissor sister. Oh my goodness, I can't even say it. It's been a long week. My crafty scissor sister, Alicia from Little Paper Crafter here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And this box came on Thursday. And so I thought it would be fun to do this video and just share what it is that I um, created here um, tonight here on YouTube. So uh, it's been a long week and it was a bit of a challenging day today. And so this box, I don't know what it is. Alicia has like this amazing sense that these packages arrive from her at just the right time when things are a bit crazy and they're just this surprise happy meal that's come all the way from California. So you need to make sure you check out um, Little Paper Crafter on YouTube and Insta IG, I guess it technically should be called. And she is going to, hey, so nice to see you. Um, she is going to, um, she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and she's hosting this amazing um, challenge right now. I think I always get the name not quite right. I think it's called City of Hope. And she is um, encouraging all of us crafters to make items to send to her that she brings to um, the children's hospital for Christmas to bring cheer. So I have no idea what she's a, she's going to what she sent to me, but I thought it would be really fun to open the box. So are you ready to check things out with me and what's here in the box? Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm just going to actually empty the box and then I can just get it. Oh my gosh. This thing is full and oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's chock full. Oh, there's still spear at the bottom. Oh my goodness. Alicia. So many crafty goodies. Oh, there's things popping out all over the place here. So I got rid of the box. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. And I can hear Alicia's voice when I hear this. It says, na na na. Nanny, nanny, you got booed. Thankful for you, my scissor sister. And yes, we, as I was saying, we are little, um, we met here in the PHA crafty community and, uh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. I can't wait to go and boo someone else. I love these, um, moments where you get to get booed. So anyways, so what I just thought I would do is just go through and have a look at all these goodies and uh, it's chock full. You, you can't see the depth right now, but there's tons of things on here. So I can't wait to check it out. Now I must admit my crafty space at the moment is a little bit untidy. So I think I'll just put the items a little bit to the side as we can look and see what's in here and go from there. Um, yay, I'm so glad you're here with me to have a look and see what's inside the box. So. The first item is called a straw bale. So I guess this is what you look at when you are or use when you're decorating your crafty space. So I have um, in my family room, I have it all set up for some crafty items or like pumpkins and all that. Christian, hey Christian, welcome. I am hosting an impromptu live. I never do this kind of thing on a Friday night and I thought it would be fun to open up and see what um, is inside um, Alicia's box that she sent me this happy mail and what it just said is funny because I can hear her voice when I say this it says nanny nanny you got booed thankful for my scissor sister so it's pretty funny I can hear her voice when she's saying that so I'm gonna look and see what's in the box so this first one um, looks like it's called Harvest DIY Words. So let's have a look and see what words are in here. Um, I've been learning how to do, what do you call it? Paint and make these effects look really um, cute. So we have Hello Autumn, Give Thanks. And I'm working right now on tons of autumn projects. So this is just perfect. Um, Farm Fresh, Blessed. Hello Fall, 
and wel whoops, and welcome fall. So those are just perfect for my crafty stash here and my fall projects. I'm going to be finishing up my latte cup um, mini album that I made using the Scrap Diva die. So those may work with that. Um, so what's everybody up to tonight besides watching this um, Happy Mail haul? So this one is sunflowers. These are really, really pretty. Look at that. Um, the, I guess you can cut off the wire and they'd make a really nice addition to a latte cup die or something like that. So, um, yeah, that might be kind of cool. And these ones are 12 stickers. And what does it say here? Just autumn, sweet autumn. I should have put my glasses on before I did this. Um, for the, all, all of you that know the saga of my glasses, this week was an, a big week for me as I got my glasses prescription. I just have to get them picked up now when they're finished. So fall is in is in this all. Very, so very thankful. H hello, fall. Um, Autumn Grace, fall into us. Uh, Autumn... I'm not sure what that was. So very thankful. Hello, fall, and mostly grateful. And this is like just a perfect time for all of this. For for all of you that are aren't Canadian, this is our Thanksgiving long weekend. So on Monday is our Thanksgiving day. So I will be making a turkey, and perhaps maybe I can make some even special little decorations for the table with some of these. So these are cute little hats, um, little straw hats that might look cute decorated and somehow resting on the the hay, the hail, the bale of hay. <laughs> For goodness, I can tell it's later than what I'm used to. Um, and so, oh, these are these stickers from the Dollar Tree that have the pretty pumpkin, and they go with that paper collection that's available on Etsy. So these are really fun, Alicia. I like those. I can never have enough of pumpkins because they work for fall or they work for. Um, Halloween and oh my goodness what the heck is this um, it is an Echo Park autumn days paper collection Alicia this is adorable so I'm just gonna open it up and have a look at the sheet here because oh my goodness um, I am in love with fall and how it seems like just because the colors go with every collection and I'm just looking at this quick peek and there looks like there's some cute paper um, patterns in here. So this looks like a four by six cards. Give thanks and everything we give. Thanks. Falling for you. Um, there is happy fall. Hello, autumn. Happy Thanksgiving. Look at that little turkey with the hat on. We are blessed and lucky to be with those that we love and cherish. Family together. Look at the little fox here fall is in the air and that cute little bear with the basket and wow this is um is that called damask this pattern so it's double-sided so it's always a tricky decision to know which side you are going to use but with the latte cup mini albums that I've been making I really like the journal cards to be tucked in and this is very pretty it's called changing leaves kind of like a diagonal buffalo check I guess and these fall leaves very pretty and the paper is really Bonnie oh my goodness you're here it's super super late this is a very impromptu live um it's so nice to have you here um so we just have a small little gathering here tonight but um that's okay it's impromptu and I thought it would be fun to show this amazing happy mail that I got from um Alicia a little paper crafter on Instagram and YouTube. And I guess I should still be calling it IG, but I'm totally not. <laughs> so we have Claudia here and Christian and Bonnie and a few others. Oh, hi Jeannie. Welcome, welcome. We're just checking out um, this um, Happy Mail package. So this paper collection is called, I guess, is it, help? oh, fall, in, fall is in the air is in the air really pretty and so they have the mushrooms and the pumpkin banner and the stripes on this side 
and then the pretty bear and the pie. I just wish I had a um, pumpkin die, shaker die. I have the pie and I'm getting the owl from KS Crafts on Tuesday. I think it's arriving, their Christmas one, but I think I'm gonna be able to use it for autumn too. Just, you change the colors and that's what's amazing when you, you know, think about your stash is choosing items that you can, ooh, this is pretty with the leaves. Oh, bestie yarn buddy. How are all those projects, crocheting projects that you're doing, Bonnie? Are you getting them finished? Ooh, very pretty with the acorns and the mushrooms. Very fall. Some more acorns. And ooh, this is this is very fall with the with the brown and the, the trees. And she gifted you a cricket. My goodness, how amazing is that? I thought you might have had a cricket, Bonnie. Um, pumpkin and uh uh, really plaid. These are really pretty fall colors. I really love those colors. So have you ever used an electronic die cutting machine before, Bonnie? They're fun. I love my kit. What a generous, generous gift. I agree. What a surprise. Doing hats. So Bonnie's making hats and, and scratch mittens for the PHA gift of hope. Yeah, they're so cute. I saw the pictures. Did you post them on IG or did you send them to me? I, I lose track. This pretty floral. And Bonnie's been telling me that crocheting is easier than knitting. I've always wanted to learn how to crochet because it just looks like something fun that you can do when you're waiting in a video uh, doctor's office or something like that. Or at kids' soccer you know, my kids play soccer, but at their different events. Okay, you posted on G, that's where I saw it. I couldn't remember. And this pretty stripes. And oh, look at this one. This is um all these, uh, you can cut it in strips or use it as all one big sheet. This is sort of like a little bit of each of the pattern papers. And then the really gold polka dots. This is so classic fall. Egg fall and oh my gosh owls I'm so excited for this owl paper because it's gonna go so cute with the chaos crafts owl die that I'm coming this collection is called fall is in the air so it came in the box that I got from Alicia and um, she must have somehow knew that I was crafting fall and it's so funny because now I when I when I think about these owls, um, my classroom theme is decorated in owls this year. And it was, we were talking about our favorite things today. And it was so cute. One of the girls in my class puts her up her hand and she's like, I, um, I know what your favorite animal is. I'm like, you do. And she's like, yeah, an owl. I'm like, how do you know? You have so many owls in the classroom. It was so cute. So cute. Um, and this is a sticker set, which again, works really great for um, um, an October daily. I probably have called it a December daily tonight because that's just how it is. But so, so cute. That bear, I need to come up with something for that bear. It is so cute. So cute. I know. She sent a lot of stuff. This was so unexpected and it always comes at just an amazing time when I need to pick me up. So it was, per it's just perfect. Oh, I've never tried these before. They are pumpkin rub on transfers. Has it, have any of you that are joining me tonight used these before? I have never um, seen these before. Yo, you really, Elite, yes, she is so generous. She's such a big kind, kind heart. I'm just so lucky to, um, have her as my friend. I love her laugh and her giggles when we get to have crafting. She is still sick, Bonnie. She had a fever on Thursday and then she stayed home from school today. William stayed home from school today. And when I came home from work, she was still really pale and has a raspy voice and I think still a sore throat. So we're doing tons of hand washing with hopes that, um, she isn't, you know, that the rest of us don't get it. But 
William had like a, a little slight fever and then it went away on um, Thursday night. So we uh, just kept him home as a precaution. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, Christian. I just, yeah. Good night's sleep and probably a rest tomorrow. No dancing. And of course, Tammy, that's always what the challenge is, um, is getting them to sleep. Yes, honey and lemon. And then my friend Andrea recommended some um, cough syrup. That's not a cough syrup. It's like, well, it's um, a natural thing. So um, we're going to want to maybe pick that up tomorrow because I was motivated to go pick it up because it's right next door to the Michaels. And, you know, you can go to the, the store and take a break and uh, get get some crafty goodies too at the same time so what's everybody up to are you crafting are you just hanging out on the sofa um i was initially just hanging out drinking tea enjoy enjoying my friday evening alone on the on the sofa while the kids sleep so um it was all of a sudden i'm like i haven't opened that box i was i texted christian and i said I think I'm going to go live. And then it just went from here. So Christian, you have totally stepped me up and encouraged me to do this because I wouldn't have done anything like this a year ago on my own. So it's kind of fun. Um, so these are really pretty. They are dimensional stickers with glitter on them. And these will work really great for coffee cups and embellishments. Um, I was sorting through all my um, stamped images that I had and my um, sort of punches and all that and I put, separated everything into these bowls and it's kind of neat when you look at this because look these colors match I just feel like one one um with fall particularly it mat every collection matches it's all about the colors so and it's going to be fun to play with all of that. So just move that out of the side. And then I got some Halloween in there, some foam um, stars and some pumpkins. I've never seen those before. Those are cute. Wow, that's amazing, Bonnie. Congratulations. What a big accom accomplishment. I know, I remember you saying when you were starting your salads and you're recommending veggies. And you were calling yourself Bugs Bunny with the, uh, oops, I dropped something on the floor with all the carrots that you were eating. The stickers just fell, put that over there. So that's awesome. And ooh, here is some sequins to make a fall sequin mix. The colors match perfectly with the paper collection here. I'll just grab the front page, look at that. I don't know, after seeing, um, a, a quick peek of Christian's October daily. I'm almost thinking it might be fun to try something like that. Although I don't have the Barely Arts glue foam tape that she recommended. It looks so crisp and so neat along there um, for her shaker part. So some more stickers and oh my gosh, this has such a pumpkin spice vibe. It says that there's 14 stickers there. And we have a coffee cup, a candle. Oh, I should get my fall candles out. A pie, some gourds, and some donuts and leaves. Again, perfect for a um, October daily. Yes, the foam tape is the bomb, is it? So, Christian, if we want to get that foam tape, where do we go? If we want that foam tape, where do we go? And you must have a, Chris a coupon code. Tell us about it. Tell us more about this tape. Um, I wonder, is this a Hobby Lobby thing? Because I don't recognize the packaging. These are really cute wood veneer pumpkins and leaves. Again, I keep saying this. That's perfect for an October daily. How cool is that? And some pretty big sunflowers. So that's kind of will pair nicely with somewhere in here. I put it over to the side, these small little ones here. Gosh, Bonnie, how can you watch a live and a 
2020 at the same time. That was like the other night when I was trying to watch um, Alive and I was I had one eye basically on what my kids were doing and one eye on the live and it I couldn't I couldn't do it. It was it was too hard. So it's amazing thick double sided foam tape. It's called is it Cubies or Cubbies? Cubies? And then you can get it at barelyart.com and you can use coupon code Christian10. Christian10. So um, that is something worth looking into because the foam tape that I've used before has not been thick enough or great. Oh, and then there's a, um, what do you call it? Uh, link in the live chat. So if you're watching the replay of this, check out the link that Christian's posted um, if you need to get to Barely, Barely Arts um, glue. And I guess it was Christian10, again, the coupon code. So cool. Um, yes, Bonnie, Christian is such an enab enabler. Crazy. Um, I don't know at times I wonder if my husband wishes we've ever met because of all the crafty purchases that I make. <gasps> oh my goodness. I was just talking about this to somebody. Was who I was I talking to somebody? I don't know. I just remember talking about this die. I had watched a video. Oh no, it was not a video. It was Jess Crafts on Instagram and she posted um, she posted a um, banner using this coffee cup die. And I was just thinking, oh gosh, I would sure like to have one. But I don't remember seeing these here in Canada. There's eight in a pack. And I've been seeing really cute Christmas projects and um, fall projects with this. So, eeks, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is exciting, Alicia. It's like you read my mind and this arrived in my crafty box. Um, what do I do with the wood? I like to paint and cover them. Where did I put it? Um, cause I was just organizing my room last night and I had a, or the other night. Oh, here. So this is, where did it go? So this is something that I did and I was learning the technique. So this one isn't as clear as this one, but this is wood veneer from, um, the Dollar Tree in the mermaid tail theme. So it was like a little banner that had three. So I painted it first pink. Then I mod podged it, but I actually didn't have mod podge. I had, what do you call it? Um, just regular old glue. And then I used a foam, um, foam brush and spread it out and then sprinkled this with glitter. And it's, it's really stayed on. Oh good. She's coming. Good, good, good. Um, Good, good, good. So this is what I do with the wood veneers. And then another technique that I did with the wood veneers that I was playing with. Now I have Mod Podge. So I'm curious to see what it's going to be like when I use the Mod Podge. Oh, good. You told her. I, I guess yeah. I posted a little link on IG, but um, I didn't post. I should have messaged her. Thanks, Bonnie, for do letting me know that I was live. And so this is the other technique that I've done with the wood veneers. So, um, you know how I've always been saying I need to shop my stash and encourage myself to use my stash. So these again were starfish that I thought would be good for mermaid projects. And what I did is I painted them all first and these ones were all blended with colors. So if I wanted to try and match them again, I don't think I could. Then I put glue down. Again, I didn't have Mod Podge when I did this. And I have these things. They're called glass beads. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's really, really, really fine, fine beads. And I glued it down. Um, and uh, I put it on there. And I don't know. I just feel, I don't know if it's coming up and picking up in the images but it has this really like glittery look to it. This one is more natural than I would say the, the mermaid tail here. So um, that's what I've been doing with the, with the wood embellishments. What I saw Jess Crafts do 
And then I think somebody else I watched, it came up, it popped on my Facebook page, is they painted them and colored them and then used puffy paint for the whipped cream. And then they put, they made it Christmas. So they say painted it green, red, all the different colors and put stickers there. So, you know, look at, just they gave, you did fall look how pretty those um, sunflowers would look on there. So super, super cute. And yes, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just think puffy paint would look good for the foam. And then what the person was doing, I'll just draw it on here. So they say did the foam, oh, it's not going to work. They did the foam. They did the foam there. And then they sort of did this part like this and painted it. Now it's moving around. They painted that coffee color. They put even like sprinkles on it. They sh And then the cup was painted whatever color, whether it was fall. You could use markers. Um, I think they used a combination of markers and then put like a, a sticker here. So whether it was, you know, a, a fall sticker, Christmas sticker. So I'm not sure if I want to make this in fall or Christmas because wouldn't this look cute with some doodle bug stickers on it? Because the next thing I want to do, well, as I've shared in our lives, I have, I'm doing mermaid, fall, Halloween, odds and ends of a whole bunch of different projects. I still have Encanto, um, working on a whole bunch of things at the same time. But I think Doodlebug would look cute. Spackle. Have you used Spackle before? Like I've seen Bargain Bethany use that stuff and she makes it look so easy. Um, maybe I could use some of that stuff. Or Nouveau Drops. I guess maybe Nouveau Drops would work. I have, I'm not sure if I have white, but you know, these, because these leave depth and dimension, right? I mean, not that I would use pink, but I know I, I do like pastel Christmas too. So I know that's kind of what I'm thinking with those. So this is so exciting to get these, Alicia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then these are fun. They're apples. There's eight in a pack too. And being that I'm a teacher um, and these would be fun to hang as decoration in the classroom. I could put um, my name on it. I could put a teacher's name on it. I actually might think, I, I'm thinking what I even might do. Oh, there's two packages. Even better um, for my, um, my kids' teachers. Wouldn't it be cute to have like, a you know, this as a Christmas gift perhaps? That's what I was talking about with Christian the other night. I was trying to come up with some crafty ideas as to what I could um, do for teacher's gifts. So when I was working on my, we were, we were problem solving and coming up with ideas for October of what I need to do. So October, I needed to finish my mermaid book, my beach bag, my DIY embellishments for mermaid month. I need to do an October daily. I wanna finish my fall latte mini album a video share of a Halloween project I've been working on, a video share. So I just have all my list. But then I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know about you, but I'm just finding this year is going by so fast. I can't believe it's already Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. And we're almost at halfway through October. Like I, the, the time is just flying by. I feel like I was just on summer holidays in August. And so then once I was starting making my list for October, all of a sudden I paused and I had this like panic start. And I realized that I'm going to have to make, thank you, Tammy, um, that I'm going to have to make projects for my kids, teachers, and my coworkers. And when Christian and I were talking, she can probably attest to this, that panic struck in because I've set the bar so high in terms of what it is that I'm going to be giving these people like even my administrator my principal at my school said "Ooh, after she got the summer gift I can't wait to see what I get for Christmas which was a little presumptuous but at the same time I'm like oh my gosh what am I gonna do so let's say Bonnie wait it's thinner thicken it up with cornstarch put it in a plastic bag and then use it like cake frosting um yes the pressure but you know I'm putting it on myself right that's the key. So anyways, I'm thinking that those might be fun to do as an, um, 
an embell uh, a, a decoration to give to the kids' teachers? Now, would you put a, like a general thing that said teacher, or would you put their name on it? Uh, I don't know. I have to I, I have to think about that and process that. Planning is the key. Yes, I love. Christian and I started this. Was that last year or the year before? I've lost track. Um, the crafty traveler's notebook where you set goals and keep track of what you want to work on and you save your ideas. So what I'm realizing I have to refer to actually is I might, is it 2021? I couldn't remember. Um, I had ideas for projects to do with the kids for Christmas time. And I hope that's in somewhere because last year, or maybe it's in my first one, because last year, we didn't get through all of them. And now that they're a little bit older, probably some of the projects they put down there. So, you know, sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but you're searching on um, Pinterest and you see these great ideas and you pin them, but then you forget about them. And then the season passes and then you're like, oh, I didn't get a chance to make this. You write it down. You write it down in your crafty planner. 2020 was an amazing year for crafty idea generation. Well, that works too scribbling it down and writing it down so you remember I just know that I lose papers all over the place I'm embarrassed to admit that I have misplaced in here um what do you call those transparency sheets to finish off a project and so I really have to tidy up in here to hopefully they're just stuck between things so if I had it on a slip of paper I'd probably never be able to find the slip of paper again but at least the the traveler's notebook crafty planner organizer we can find so alicia knows that i like owls and owls again are just so perfect for fall um this would look cute painted and with little eyes and could use the glitter could put a name on there so much potential of how to use these they would make very cute cute christmas decorations or fall decorations something that we like to do although I haven't done that tradition yet and started it with the kids is we have this tree and we call it a gratitude tree and we write something that we're thankful for every day but maybe we'll start from Thanksgiving to the end of the month oh yeah no worries Bonnie it's late and so as I was saying earlier at the start of the video I just thought do I sit down and just film a video and then I'm just by myself or would it be fun to connect with all my PHA crafty friends here on YouTube and share my excitement for this Happy Mail package that I got? So this is the final item. It's a Halloween themed. And I think I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna work on these and paint these um, in some non-traditional Halloween colors. So I, I actually had in my stash the craft the, uh, I don't know where I put them. Oh, here they are. The witch's hat. So won't these be fun to pair together? Christian was encouraging me to... Aw, thank you, Tammy. Um, aw, thanks, Christian. Uh, it's, it's nice to um, connect with all of you. And it's just more exciting talking and getting the interaction than just pretending, not pretending, but just talking to the camera. I get, I get your feedback too so if you're liking my videos i humbly ask you to like it i'm at the end of the video as it helps me um with that youtube algorithm or somehow I, i'm not even sure how that all works but if you do like it i'd appreciate you to hit the thumbs up button on the left hand side of your screen um so yeah so this is going to be fun so if the kids are and i are home this weekend and we're not going to dance and we're not going to martial arts and daddy is sleeping because he's on night shift. I think these projects are going to be perfect for us to do because I have some other ones that I bought for the kids to do so we can all do some crafty, crafty painting. So, oh my goodness, Alicia, I can't believe all these amazing, amazing things that you sent me in this Happy Mail project. I have packages of... um wood veneers and these ones these coffee cups i am so excited about these i was just thinking about these so many things to play with these sunflowers 
and um, these little fall stickers. And I got some Halloween stuff here. Yes, isn't this amazing Happy Mail? Some more wooden veneers. Um, these stickers that everybody snaps up as soon as they see them because they're just so darn cute. Um, <laughs> yes, Bonnie, her kitchen sink. Yes, I just don't know if that would clear customs, right? The kitchen sink, so perhaps that's why she left that at home. Uh, Rub-on transfers, the pumpkins, some fall leaves and fall little um, clusters, I guess. I guess that's what you could call it. We have these amazing um, stickers, Happy Harvest. What else is that one? Harve out all the good times. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, did I miss this one? I don't know. I feel like, did I show this one? So there's another wood veneer. This is like maple leaves. So this is kind of fun because, you know, being Canadian, I can totally do it in a Canadian theme or I can turn it into a fall theme. She finds totally good stuff. I don't know if you're in Canada, if they had all these wood veneers because I never saw, spotted any fall ones. So, um, then we have these ones here, which are the word ones. And uh, so I'm going to have to pull out my paint colors. And we got this cute little adorable straw bale. And these two little hats. And the sticker. Oh my goodness. Amazing, amazing crafty goodies. So Alicia, I want to thank you. I'm hoping you watched the replay. That from the bottom of my heart, I... Ooh, Melissa, welcome. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I really thank you for this beautiful, beautiful Happy Meal package. I got spoiled by my scissor sister. Let me tell you, I got spoiled and I can't wait to play. I can't wait to play with all of this stuff. I have, I think it's going to just add perfectly to my harvest themed, autumn themed latte cup. And, um, it's going to be so fun to play with. And as I said, I'm still working on Mermaid. You guys are probably all getting tired of hearing me talk about Mermaid. But I am still working away on it. This is what I made on... Was this Thursday night I made this? No, that was last night. Or Wednesday night? I don't know. But anyways, this is a envelope box die. It's... um, I used my greeting farm... Um, image there colored and then this is a chaos crafts uh sentiment die okay good tammy uh wednesday it was see look christian note remembers better than i do it was wednesday um this just shows me how crazy this week was so and then i just used some stickers that sort of went with the beachy slash theme it opens up i have a little uh what do you call it velcro on either side and then i'm going to fill this up with crafty with crafty things that I've made. So Bonnie, this is what you're gonna be able to do with your Cricut. This is a doodle bug mermaid um, SVG that came from the Lori Whitlock shop. I think I got it 50% off. So I think she's cut at four inches. So there's two of those in the box. Jessica, hey, welcome. I just finished wrapping up um, this amazing Happy Mail package that I got from Alicia. And I'm showing my mermazing. I know you'd like that. Um, uh, um, handmade embellishments that are going in this box. Envelope box die from KS Crafts. So nice to have you here. Thanks for hopping on. And then I just have these sentiments that I've cut. Um, that I've cut out and had in my stash and kind of goes with the with the summer theme so that's kind of where that is with mermaid and then I'm going to do what Christian does as a sneak peek but this is a box that holds a special album that I've been working on so that inside here, okay, so I'm going to just go like this really quick. So it holds an album. So my goal, because it's the long weekend, um, is to showcase that box, all my mermaid embellishments, 
and um, package everything up together. So uh, you saw my list, I had a beach bag to make and a the handmade embellishments with the scraps. So I'm making every paper that came in my Three Crafts Chicks mermaid bundle set to good use. I use everything, I've saved everything. I have all my scraps here in this uh, Ziploc bag and I am working away at building up my stash of embellishments. So you can see like even pieces of scraps like this, I save and I'll use my punchers and turn it into something, something special. So this was an amazing bundle and it's crazy. I've almost, I like the album is just about done. Well, it's almost done, I feel. But look at all these stickers that I still have to play with from that pack. So if you're really wise and thoughtful with your um, projects, you can make probably like the, the paper packs go super far. And I'm sure you can even do amazing things with their sub subscription boxes. And then here's my other sneak peek of a project that I'm working on. Aw, thank you, Bonnie. Is this I started embarrassed to say in 2020 and because the paper collection was released so late I moved on to Christmas and didn't get to finish it but this is a uh, tutorial from Paper Phenomenon and I'm stretching the paper collection with this that's partly why I had to pause because it was I was needing to do too much math to figure out and make sure I used all the paper because I only bought one paper pack. What is it? What do they call them? What's it always called? Christian would know. Yeah, paper pack, the 12 by 12 paperback. And so I wanted to use it. So this is a fall themed um, um, folio. So here's just the sneak peek here. That's as far as I'm gonna go, but I'm just working on finishing it. Uh, and I will be sharing a video shortly with that. Um, um, so this is basically a wallet. Uh, you can see this pack page isn't um, decorated yet because I was making sure I had enough paper. But yes, this is the pumpkin spice from um, Doodlebug that came out in 2020, I guess. And it had, I think, was this one of the first collections that had matching dies, not dies, with matching um, stamps, Christian? Uh, because this collection... I love Norma. Thank you for joining. I'm just kind of doing some just random little project shares of everything. I just did a, an amazing happy mail um, share from Alicia, little paper crafter. And um, this folio, let me get a ruler. This is a paper phenomenon tutorial. I purchased the tutorial. Oh gosh, something fell down again. So this measures... Oh, they, they did stamps in 2017? Okay, then I'm, I guess for me, this is the year, when I made this book, this was the year I met Christian, 2020, and I think we were just squealing with excitement because of the stamps that came with this collection because they were coffee themed. And you all got, you all know, um, it's just amazing how I found a crafty BFF who loves the same thing <laughs> and love to craft coffee because I've never met anybody else that loves to craft coffee. So this collection we were screaming about and this was the first collection that I ever bought and didn't hoard. So that was another big moment. I just, what's funny about it is I didn't finish the project um, because I didn't want to waste the paper. So that um, is this, yes, this is the collection we totally bonded over. But look at these like cute little, these are all stamps, the little cinnamon bun and the um, cupcake, the cute little pumpkin happy fall, y'all. So this book opens up quite big, but I'm not going to give too much more away. Uh, but it does hold this here inside insert is six inches up and down. And seven and a quarter this way. So you could basically fit two portraits going this way. <laughs> yes, I don't like the taste of coffee, but I have to own every craft coffee dye 
there is out there. And it's so hard to refrain because there's just so many nice ones. But Christian drinks coffee. So she drinks the coffee for both of us. But um, I craft with coffee. I just, you know what it is, Bonnie? I think what hooks me about coffee, you all know how much I love puns. And I love that Jessica, she's here. And she enjoys my punniness. So, um, yes, you drink enough coffee for both of us. Um, Norma, I'm the same way. Total tea drinker. But what's funny about this is uh, this, you know, this whole idea of how I just super love, love, love coffee projects. And But I, well, I think the reason why I love all the coffee stamps is the fact of the puns. You know, you warm my heart. Thanks a latte. The sky's the limit. I think... That's the other thing I love is all the coffee puns that come along with it. And now I've seen some really good tea puns too. So, of course, I have to own them all because I love, love um, puns. And I love stamps and I love coffee projects. Yes, Jessica loves puns also. Oh, good. Another non-coffee lover out there. And, but you love frap cups. Yes. I can't get enough of the frap cups, as you all know. How many times have I featured the Honey Bee Crafts one? So many times in every different thing. Diet Coke. Yes! Oh, Christian, I'm terrific. Yes. Um, you know, just who doesn't love a good pun, right? Who doesn't love a good pun? So, um, so that's the other sort of project that I have to work on. And if you're thoughtful with your measurements, you can totally, totally make your paper pad stretch. And the other neat thing is, Bonnie, I don't know if you noticed this, but this green, these two green sheets came in the mermaid bundle. And that's the thing that's great about Doodlebug is their paper color themes match intercollection. So even if you don't go get the Swiss dots, with the collection you have, you can get another one and it matches. And look, I have all these stickers that I haven't used because I hoarded the stickers. So I have to make embellishments with this. I just have to. Oh, I am set to do full stuff. So I'll just put this back. But it's so neat that that green paper matches. So again, all the scraps that I use are going to be... Um, put to good use and stamp. Mindless Crafting has a teacup stamp set called Tea Lover Stamp Set. Yes, hoarding is fun. That's what draws us all together. We find a beautiful paper and we hoard, 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 right? That's what we do. Hi, Debbie. Oh, Debbie there. Hi, ladies. Yes, I am on super late. Uh, it was very impromptu. I thought it would be fun. Way to like end a you know, Friday evening, a really busy week this week with my kids being sick Thursday, Friday, and then the, to my day with the kids today ended a little wonky when they got all wild with all these stick bugs that were invading our classroom. It was so gross. Not stick bugs, stink bugs. Um, so yes, I keep mine. Yes, that's what I do. That's what I have is these Ziploc bags like this. This is the mermaid bundle from Three Crafts Chicks. I put all the scraps and everything in the bag. And sometimes what I even do while I'm working with it is I actually put, if there's coordinating stamp sets that I bought, I put the stamps in here too so I can pull everything. Oh my gosh, you're in Vegas. You're not trying to win those last minute um, slot machines or something before you go home. Bring home some fortunes for crafty supplies. Um... Yes. Yeah, so anyways, um, this has been fun, 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 um, sharing my excitement for all these crafty goodies from all of you. Thank you for joining me and thank you so much for taking a look at my array of projects from fall to mermaid to doodle bug, all that stuff. I really appreciate your company and friendship. Uh, if you liked my video tonight, please, I humbly ask you to give me a thumbs up, um, to show that you, um, enjoyed, um, being here with me tonight. 
Thank you so much for um, joining me. This is crazy doing this spontaneous live, but I had a lot of fun. Now it's time to put these crafty goodies um, away and make some plans in my crafty notebook um, to what I'm going to make with these for the next little while. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. It was lovely to be here with all of you. Have a wonderful weekend. And if you are Canadian and watching this, have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you get together with your family and friends and we will see you all um, next time. I think Christian, we're going to go live next Wednesday. So if you are up for it and, um, you know, enjoy crafty chit chat and fun. Join us on Wednesday night here on YouTube at 9 30 uh, Pacific Standard Time, and we will uh, be doing something yet. We haven't planned out, but we're going to be using some dyes, I think. So have a great evening, sleep well, and we'll see you all soon. Night, night, everybody. Bye.